Best Places to Fly Fish in Oklahoma In this video, I want to share with you what I believe are the top three places to fly fish in Oklahoma. Many people might not think of Oklahoma as a fly fishing destination, but with more than 1 million surface acres of water, Oklahoma is bountiful with water and diverse landscapes. These landscapes encompass some beautiful streams and lakes that are stretched out all across the state. These waters hold a variety of native and non-native species, each with their own unique characteristics and beauty. This opens up some exciting and thrilling opportunities to chase big, aggressive, hard-fighting fish in an array of diverse waters. Number three, Blue River. The Blue River is one of the last free-flowing streams in Oklahoma. The spring-fed river's clear blue water, big boulders, beautiful cascades, and lush greenery make this one of the most scenic rivers in Oklahoma. Beginning near Connerville in Johnston County, the Blue River flows 141 miles before emptying in to the Red River. The river is most scenic along the six and a quarter mile stretch through the Blue River public fishing and hunting area. This 3,367 acre property is managed by the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation and offers primitive camping along the river. From November through March 1st, the Blue River is a designated trout area and is stocked with rainbow trout every two weeks. During the spring and summer, channel catfish are also regularly stocked. Wintertime trout fishing on the Blue is phenomenal. However, don't overlook summertime fly fishing for bass. This river is full of these wild and feisty river bass that are eager to eat a fly and have you walking back to camp with a smile on your face. So grab your camping stuff and fly fishing gear and head down to the blue. Grab some flies, food, and beverages at Scotty's One Stop Shop on your way in and enjoy a relaxing weekend on the banks of a beautiful, clear, spring-fed river full of hungry fish. Number two, Lower Mount Fork River. The combination of this river's picturesque surroundings combined with its thriving trout populations make this river regarded as one of the South's premier trout streams. This tailwater has 12 miles of designated trout water that is home to a year-round population of rainbow and brown trout and currently holds a state record brown trout at 17.4 pounds. Nestled in the beautiful mountains of the Washtenaw National Forest, the Lower Mountain Fork River designated trout area is divided into three zones. It originates below Broken Bow Dam in McCurtain County and flows five miles through Beaver's Bend State Park and ends at Highway 70 Bridge near Eagletown, Oklahoma. Oklahoma State Parks manages campgrounds within Beaver's Bend State Park with full RV hookups, cabins, and tent sites. Reserve your campsites early because those spots fill up quick. If camping is not your thing, the up and coming tourist town of Hocha Town is just a few minutes away. Luxury cabins, breweries, dining, and entertainment are all nestled in this cool little mountain town. I tend to visit the lower mountain fork in the winter when the crowds have slowed down a bit. It's probably my personal favorite wintertime fishery in this region. It can be challenging at times as fishing pressure can make these fish quite picky. But if you like a challenge and enjoy different fishing styles, whether it's nymphing big pocket water, dry fly fishing, or swinging streamers, this river's diverse water provides opportunities that could potentially land you a fish you won't forget. So if you need your fix of Rocky Mountain fly fishing but can't make it out west, then the Lower Mountain Fork River just might scratch that itch. So grab your gear and take a trip down to the Ouachita Mountains and into Beaver's Bend State Park. Once in the park, stop by Beaver's Bend Fly Shop and they will point you in the right direction. Number one, Illinois River. The combination of the beauty, diversity, and size of fish is why I believe this river is the best place to fly fish in Oklahoma. This river provides the opportunity to catch trophy striped bass on the lower river to trophy river smallmouth on the upper river and the famous white bass runs in between. If you love catching big, hard-fighting fish in beautiful places, then you could spend a lifetime on this river. The Illinois River is a 145 mile long tributary of the Arkansas River. This spring-fed river originates in the northwest section of the Ozarks and flows southwest through the mountains of eastern Oklahoma, eventually forming Tenkiller Lake. 
which creates two distinct sections of the river, which are referred to as the Upper Illinois and Lower Illinois. The damming of the Illinois River creates a tailwater which is known as the Lower Illinois River. The Lower Illinois flows 7.75 miles eventually dumping into the Arkansas River. The lower section below Tenkiller Dam is a designated year-round trout stream stocked with rainbow and brown trout. Water drawn from the depths of Lake Tenkiller flows into the Lower Illinois River, keeping the water temperature cool and oxygenated year-round. The state record rainbow trout was caught in this cold tailwater of the Lower Illinois River. While the Lower Illinois is one of Oklahoma's prized trout fisheries, it is well known for the giant striped bass that come up out of Kerr Reservoir on the Arkansas River. During the summer, many stripers become temporary residents of the Lower Illinois River, escaping the heat by remaining in the colder, deeper holes between water releases. Oklahoma State Record Striper was caught in 1996, weighing 47 pounds, 8 ounces. The lower section is also bountiful with many different species of fish, so much so that fly fishermen flock to this river when trying to complete Oklahoma's 15 species challenge. I had the pleasure of participating in this challenge this past year and was fortunate enough to land a spoonbill, which was my biggest fish on a fly rod to date. Upper Illinois River Although most may say that trout are the preferred game fish to chase with a fly rod, I would encourage anyone to spend a day floating down this beautiful Ozark stream fighting smallmouth bass with a fly rod. This river holds some trophy river smallmouth. It is also home to the native Neosho smallmouth and the native smallmouth buffalo, with both putting a wild fight on a fly rod. If I have one free day in Oklahoma to do anything I want, it is floating down this river fighting these beautiful fish with a fly rod. As I mentioned earlier, this river has so much to offer. Beautiful scenery, clear water, trophy fish, native fish, and last but not least, the official state fish of Oklahoma, the white bass, aka sand bass. Over the years, this fish has made its way up the list to become one of my favorite fish to target with a fly rod. And there's no better place to target these fish than the Upper Illinois River. The annual sand bass run occurs every spring as these aggressive fish migrate from Tinkiller Lake up the Illinois River and surrounding feeder creeks. They do this in untold numbers, feeding as they make their way upstream. Usually they'll hit anything that resembles a shad, their favorite food. If you time it right, then these fish can be caught by the hundreds. It is quite the phenomenon and people flock from everywhere to partake in this frenzy. I have shared with you my top three favorite places to fly fish in Oklahoma, but we have only scratched the surface of all the fly fishing opportunities that are bound in the state. Oklahoma has many beautiful, wild, and diverse waters that contain numerous different types of hard fighting and unique fish species. Whether you're looking to get started in fly fishing or you are looking to expand your fly fishing experience and opportunities, then I hope this video has helped point you in the right direction. If you're looking to learn more about other fly fishing opportunities and adventures, then click the subscribe button and check out our other videos on our channel. We appreciate your support and thanks for watching.